Okay, class, welcome to week three. And so for this week, I want to go ahead and um, just let you know that week two grades have already been posted. So go ahead and check those and uh, make sure that if you have any questions that there isn't any discrepancies there. So uh, week two grades have been posted. For week three, you want to go ahead and do your readings and also look at the learning activities for that week. You also want to go ahead and do your discussion boards and make sure you do two responses uh, for your discussion boards. And then um, the big assignment this week is your accountability assignment. So if you haven't had a chance to look at the uh, live, not live chat, but the pre-recorded uh, chat from last week, I recommend that you do so before you start the assignment. Um, there is a format and a guide as to how you should conduct your uh, presentation and create it. So uh, go ahead and take a look at that before you start this assignment. So <clears throat> moving on to week four, this is a preview of what to expect for your week four signature assignment and also your practicum reflection essay. So if you haven't started doing your week four signature assignment, which is a school profiler assignment, I highly recommend that you get going on that as soon as possible. This assignment will require you to um, take some time to meet with a counselor or an administrator or someone on campus that could help you answer the questions that are part of the assignment. So that will be week four. I'm going to go ahead and go over week four and give you a little update and um, uh, just information on what to include in your um, assignment for week four and also um, your practicum essays. <clears throat> so looking at week four, you have your obviously your introduction to the week and then you have your readings so uh, for these um, readings here they're on and based on the lectures so make sure you're looking over the lectures because your discussion boards will be uh, requiring you to uh, talk about RTI and what that is so look at the RTI overview and assessment PowerPoint and um, pay close attention to the RTI assessment PowerPoint file as well so uh, these are these two right here, the RTI overview and RTI assessment. Okay, so pay close attention to those as your discussion boards will require you to structure your answers around RTI and what that means and is and the role we play as counselors. So these are additional resources that you want to look into. If you want to save yourself some time and just kind of save this for later, I recommend that you do so. But if you want to go back to these resources, you could always go back and check these out if you are interested in, in knowing about them. But <clears throat> the most important uh, part to this week is your signature assignment for this week. And the objective is to access school label, level data related to student performance and accountability. And so students will be able to analyze and draw conclusions from the data collected. As I had mentioned earlier, your week three assignment was on collecting data from a school site. So if you want to use that same data that you collected for your week three assignment, which is the accountability um, presentation assignment, Feel free to do that, more power to you, okay? But this assignment has two sections. The outcome will be as follows. Section one, you're gonna access data on a school. And again, it could be the same school or college that you um, structured your accountability presentation on. It doesn't matter to me. You're gonna review the data and you're gonna answer the questions that are in section two. Okay, for section one, however, I want you to look at the data and provide a summary of the data. Okay, and so 
provide the facts that you have come across. For example, if you are looking at English language arts and looking at performance at the ninth grade level, or maybe 10th grade, 11th or 12th grade, um, I do want you to talk about the data that you collected and summarize it, make some assumptions. Uh, talk to me about what your hypotheses are in regards to these data points. Um, are they positive? Are they concerning? Are there some challenges that you might think are occurring in that school site that might be impacting the data that you're looking at? Okay, so section one will be just a summary of the data you collected. And so this section shouldn't be too long. Um, I want to say a couple paragraphs, um, a page, you know, not not too long, but uh, more, you know, more so a couple paragraphs for section one and where you're just summarizing the data that you're looking at. Um, and section two is where you're really going to um, be synthesizing the data that you collected with what you uh, learned from the individual at that school site that you interviewed. And so here you are required to make an appointment with a counselor or an assistant principal or a principal or someone on campus that could answer the following questions. Okay, so there are four questions here that you do want to go ahead and make sure that you're asking. I highly recommend that you have more questions that you come up and develop that are pertinent to your data points that you're looking at. So, you know, if you want to have those already set and structured before you start the interview, you could go ahead and do that. Um, I would recommend that you take some, uh, you know, a notebook or uh, something to write with to write these um, responses. Uh, if your principal or counselor or assistant principal um, feel comfortable in you recording the session, uh, that's okay with me. But make sure you ask permission before you, you do so. And so here you can and should ask additional questions, as I mentioned. So you want to inquire about the data points that you're um, looking at and summarize. And look at what the greatest challenges are in regards to students. So if you're looking at attendance, if you're looking at graduation rate, you're looking at performance on English, math, science, social science, you want to um, see what some of the challenges are and uh, see if you could have some follow-up questions for the individuals you're interviewing so you could go ahead and, and get more um, insight on what might be occurring at the school site, okay? So here, your final product should include the data <clears throat> collection summary and section one, and also a summary of your interview based on the questions that you asked. Okay, and so section two should be three to five pages, and this is the big uh, component of your paper. Section two should be three to five pages, and this, is sh this should be an analysis of the information that you gathered and the information that you um, learned from the individual that you interviewed. Um, you do not, and I don't, don't expect you, this is not um, what I want. I don't want a, just a question and answer type of paper. I do want it to be formatted in an essay type format. So don't just copy the questions and then write your responses underneath those questions. That's not the expectation for um, this paper. Uh, the expectation is that you will um, write and synthesize the information that you collected um, based on your data summary and also based on the interview that you conducted with your um, individual at that school site. And there's an example here that we provide that could give you some insight as to how to begin or give you ideas as to how to uh, write section two of your paper. Okay. So <clears throat> that is with the signature assignment. There is a rubric. And so I highly recommend that you look at the rubric and it's this one here. So I would look at the rubric before you start your paper so you can know what to um, include and what points to hit on um, in your paper. So that is um, the rubric there. 
And there are um, also additional questions that we have come up with that you might want to ask. And so these additional questions are also here provided to you via a link, via a Word document. Please note, this is an opportunity for you to meet and network and connect with new counselors. So dress well, be engaging. Uh, remember, I mean, this is um, an opportunity for you to um, present yourself and maybe, you know, connect with someone that, you know, you could uh, establish a relationship with, uh, professional relationship. And who knows, maybe in the future there might be some opportunity there for, for employment. So I always treat this as a very, very um, professional and very formal interview because you never know who might be sitting on the other side, right? So <clears throat> that is the overview of this paper. It's due Saturday by midnight. It's a, worth a total of 20 points. Um, it is to be formatted in APA format. And so I do uh, want a cover or title page and your, your, you know, your body of your essay and also um, um, references for your um, essay. So I do want you to incorporate lecture material, any class discussions, uh, material from the text, and make sure that you're citing anything that you use in APA format. So. <clears throat> With that said, that is the signature assignment. And so your last assignment for week four will be your practicum essay. Um, here, you will be required to complete eight to 12 hours of field work. As some have mentioned, some have already finished their field work. Um, I'm okay with that as long as you submit the log showing that you have completed your hours. Um, so you will be required to submit your log with your paper. So please upload both onto the link. And this should be an APA format as well. Excuse me. And should be five to eight pages. Okay. And the, I believe the questions here. Yeah. All of the following should be discussed or addressed. And so there are questions there that I do want you to address. And so, you know, make sure that you are addressing all of them. And again, this is also essay format. So don't just copy and paste the questions and address the questions. Uh, this is a, an essay reflective paper that you should be creating and developing, okay? So five to eight pages, um, APA format, and <clears throat> submit this by Saturday midnight, 20 points. So that is it for this um, session. Everybody will get points for attendance. Um, make sure that you access the link. I will be emailing it right after I finish um, recording this and uploading the video to YouTube. So if you have any questions, once again, feel free to email me um, or call me and we could go ahead and address some of those questions that you have via email. So that is it for this session. Good luck. And I hope to see some very, very creative and innovative um, accountability presentations this week. So again, you know where to reach me. Have yourselves a great night. Thank you.